Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to cook with you an easy recipe. It is ideal for winter season because it's made of different kinds of um, legumes and we have tomatoes and pasta as well with it. So for this recipe we're going to need three different legumes, lentils, broad beans or fava beans and yellow split beans but you can use also green peas dried ones i soaked them already in water about 15 minutes we'll also need a whole tin of chopped tomatoes the canned ones i'll need a medium onion chopped into small pieces and also some pasta i chose to use um lasagna sheet cut into regular pieces but you can use any kind of uh, pasta the original uh, recipe requires a uh, dough to make to be made but i don't have time so i'm using pasta i'm also using some uh, green chili one whole and one chopped into small pieces i took off the seeds to don't make it too spicy i will also need a small teaspoon of fenugreek soaked into water if you can't see it this is the picture of it fenugreek is very useful and healthy i'll also need two cloves of garlic chopped into pieces and one bay leaf and plenty of a uh, chopped coriander fresh one i will also need plenty of olive oil olive oil goes very well with this recipe especially with pasta uh, some salt as well and some spices some chili powder coriander turmeric some pepper some ginger some um, sweet paprika and some cumin seeds so for the first thing to do we're gonna take a pot a deep one we're gonna put about a quarter cup of olive oil and then I will add the onions and the garlic and let everything saute for about one to two minutes now that the onions are sauteed, are starting to become a bit golden, I will add the tin tomatoes and the legumes that are soaked. I drain them, wash them very well, drain them from water and add in them. I will also add the chili. As I said, I took off the seeds. But if you want it too spicy, you can keep the seeds. I'm adding also fenugreek give it a good mix and now we start adding the spices so first thing we'll add the salt to your taste you can add it later as well when you add the pasta I will add half teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of coriander powder half te quarter teaspoon of chili powder if you want it too spicy you can add half teaspoon this recipe is usually very spicy half teaspoon of ginger powder half teaspoon of sweet paprika quarter teaspoon of black pepper and finally we're going to add some cumin seeds if you don't have cumin seed you have only cumin powder you can add it at the end as i always say okay we give it a little bit of mix we mix it very well and then we let it to simmer for about one to two three minutes okay now as you can see that's simmering all the ingredients are combined together we were gonna add boiling water add plenty of water to allow the legumes to cook if you want the legumes to cook very quick you can use a pressure cooker but it will take around 30 minutes so we'll come back in the meanwhile i forgot to add the coriander i'll add half of it now half of it at the end give it a mix 
I let it cook for about 30 minutes, as I said. All right, when you see, once you see that the legumes are cooked, I also add a bay leaf. I forgot to record that. I'll add a little bit of water. Make sure all the legumes are well cooked. I'll also add the chili and start adding the pasta slowly, slowly, especially if you add in the lasagna sheet because they tend to stick to each other. So add little by little, continuing to stir like this. Or if you want to add any kind of other pasta that is small size, you can do. You can use also tagliatelle. Any kind of pasta that you fancy, I'll give it a good stir and we put it on a medium low heat and let it to cook by stirring from time to time because you know pasta tends to stick to the bottom we're not going to cover it and now as you can see pasta is cooked it cooks very quick about five minutes five to ten minutes will be already done all right guys my dish is ready now i use a piece of lemon to squeeze a little bit of lemon on top it gives it very nice flavor i also sprinkle a little bit of coriander i hope you guys did enjoy this recipe if you like the video please put a thumbs up leave some comments below and share with your friends thank you guys bye